Go grab your switch, let's do some chores together. Well, hello everyone, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. So today I'm bringing you my updated to-do list every day here on my island. And I figured let's just chill and do some chores together in today's video, shall we? So first things first, what I always want to do is check my mail. But since I've been doing quite a lot of time traveling, my mailbox looks like this right now. So I think for the time being, we're just gonna ignore this, okay? Because this just looks so messy right now and it's giving me low-key anxiety. So I'm gonna come back to this later and clean this up. The first thing on the list is always checking my mail. If I learned something about my 2.0 update stream is always check your mail first. But anyway, so today's agenda is basically just run around the island and do some chores and chill. The reason why I kind of wanted to do this video is if you are kind of overwhelmed still with the 2.0 update, sometimes making a little routine around your island really helps. And that is what I've been doing. I made this little list of at least some things to do every day around your island. So you can kind of slowly unpack this new update. So if you have been like me, I've been kind of trying to take things slow and not burn through the update very, very fast. And yeah, I think my little to-do list every day has really helped me to do that. So actually, the second thing on the list is to check this Nook Shopping app on your phone. Or if you don't have it on your phone, you can obviously find it inside resident services. But sometimes you find some cool stuff in the catalog over here. Um, today, we don't have any special items that came with 2.0 update, but just not too long ago, I found the truck here and the castle tower. So I definitely would do that first before I proceed with any bigger chores because this one is so easy to forget, but I'm kind of tempted to actually buy this Nintendo Switch Lite from the menu, but I can also see that I'm kind of broke right now. I don't have any money in my pocket, so let's run to the ATM and get some money out before we start to do some serious shopping over here. So today's to-do list is obviously like all my chores, so it's not only the 2.0 update stuff. What is this? So this is obviously my number three on the list. I always come to Nook's Cranny to find out what is new here, if there is any 2.0 update stuff. And I can see we have quite a lot. <gasps> Bubble machine! Yes! Oh my goodness, I'm so gonna put this outside and see what this does. So this is definitely the most important thing if I don't have time to do anything else during a certain day, I will definitely do this because I don't want to miss out on any of the new items, so I always come to Nook's Cranny. Bubble! <laughs> Bubbles! Oh my god. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> I am in love. This might be my favorite item ever. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go and buy like 10 of these. Get me all the bubbles. So now that I'm in bubble heaven, we can move on to number four, which is digging up all the fossils, and number five, gifting some fossils to my villagers. Obviously, I like to go through all of them, but I think for the sake of saving some time in this video, 
I do have some gifts in my pockets already. We're gonna just have a casual run around the island, dig up whatever we can find. Usually I do like to try and find all the five fossils per day. But um, yeah, I might just cut that out of the video. But yeah, this is what I do. I don't know if you guys still do this. Like, do you still collect your fossils or have you kind of ignored that? I know it's like such a chore actually, especially if you have kind of like very well decorated island, like very heavily cluttered. It is like almost next to impossible to find all the fossils. But since I have this kind of empty area here in the right, lower corner of my island, I have noticed that usually my fossils appear somewhere around here. As you can see, we found one, yes! But yeah, because fossils do give you quite a nice friendship bonus if you give these to your villagers, I do like digging these up still. I saw Alice wondering about this little cataloging area here, so let's gift her something. She's actually one of the only villagers whose photo I don't have yet. Everyone else except Alice and Gonzo have given me their photos. So let's try to befriend our lovely Alice here for a little bit. Also, yeah, I have been doing a lot of time traveling. That's why all of the villagers are like, where have you been? Because yeah, yesterday we were kind of looking for faith on the island. We do have that empty plot. So we are definitely stuck in this day for a little bit. And I definitely want to find faith really soon because I don't want to be stuck in this day forever and ever like back in the day when we were doing the June hunt and kind of also during the Hopkins hunt. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some villager hunting really soon because I need to fill that pot. Okay, I have found two fossils so far. Oh, it's Sunday. We could buy some turnips, but then again, I have a lot of money, so I don't think I need that right now. I need to like get rid of money. What is life? Confession time, I've been actually throwing away the money. Like literally, I've been throwing bells into the trash can. If you don't know, I kind of accidentally maxed out my bells, which was a huge mistake because it kind of takes the fun out of the game when you have like endless amounts of money. Highly do not recommend that. If you need money, just sell some gold or something. Do not max out your bells. So how is everyone doing today? What have you been up to? How is your December going? I hope you're doing well. If you are celebrating Christmas, how is your Christmas preparations going? Oh my goodness, we got a Hornsby's photo again. So I heard this, that they kind of made it easier to get villager photos or something like that because lately I've been getting so many duplicates and back in the day I was like struggling to even get one photo. So I definitely think that they did something with that. Ooh, I, this, I think this is actually my gyroid. Let's see what we got. Yes, this is my gyroid spot. Spikenoid? What does this look like? Also, how is your gyroid collection going? Oh my goodness, it's so cute! It is so cute! Loki love this one. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? A frog. We're gonna leave it here for now. This is the gyroid spot. Also, I hope that you are doing your daily chores with me. And that was kind of the reason why I wanted to do this. This can be like a little to-do list or kind of a reminder or something of things that is kind of good to get done every day if you have time. I have like about 10 things that I'd like to do every day and then five things that are kind of like, if I have time, I will try to do these ones as well. Okay, I would love to find Gonzo actually. Okay, Gonzo is sleeping. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I will find him later. I think this is actually a fossil over here. But yeah, if I don't have time to obviously gift stuff to all of my villagers, I will try at least 
gifting stuff to the ones that haven't given me their photo just yet. Hi, Ozzy, you're so cute. Okay, so next thing on the list is watering my crops. If you watched my preparing for the 2.0 update video, I mentioned in that one how I wanted to make like a big farming area. And yeah, you can only guess if I actually ever made that because the update dropped like early, so I didn't have any time to prepare for it. So all my crops are like scattered around the island, which is a little bit, a bit of a nuance, I would say, because I have to run around a lot. But then again, at least I have these cute smaller patches for them. I actually did find some wheat finally in Leaves catalog. So I need to plant those somewhere. But believe it or not, I'm like almost running out of space over here on my island. I don't even know where to put these crops anymore. I do have quite a lot of tomatoes, so maybe I could get rid of some of those and plant wheat instead. Although I also have this small dream of like making a huge field somewhere. I still have that area that is not like decorated at all. Maybe I should make a field over there or something. But I'm happy that I finally found those crops because they were, I think, the only ones that I'm missing. No, I think I don't have carrots either. That's true. Yeah. Anyways, I can finally get to some proper cooking because I can make some flour now. Okay, I think that is it. As you can see, all of my crops are kind of scattered around the island. Hello, Deidre. How are you? The only reason I'm up is so I can check on my flowers. Guys, she's so precious. I love her so much. I, I'm not sure if I'm able to let her go, if I'm being honest. She's just too cute. I know she's kind of sassy because she is a sisterly villager, but come on. She wants to check on her flowers. <laughs> So cute. Okay, next one on the list is obviously Cap'n's Island. It is a must do every single day because otherwise you will not get your gyroid. Has anyone found a really good Cap'n Island yet? I feel like he kind of takes me to the same islands every day. Last time I went, I did find the island with the vines and the glowing moss, which was like the closest thing to an awesome island. But other than that, I haven't still found anything super, super cool. Also, what is your favorite Captain song? <laughs> Okay, we have officially arrived and it looks like the island that I almost always get. So I think we're just gonna grab the gyroid and maybe a recipe bottle. Are you freaking kidding me? I didn't bring a ladder. Oh, because I was a villager hunting and I dropped it off. Did I like seriously come to an island? without a ladder. What is this? Okay. Quick tool crafting break. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, I am the most organized person in the world. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's get this gyroid and get out of here. Yeah, for now, I'm kind of good with all the... Actually, no. I do need some resources, believe it or not. I'm kind of like running out of weeds on my island because I use them a lot to like craft stuff and decorate and they don't really spawn around my island that often and I don't really want to pick them up either because I think they are like one of the most cutest decorations around the island especially like the winter ones no not the winter ones the autumn ones are like really really cool looking they might be like my favorite variation so don't mind me grabbing a few of these okay moving on moving on moving on Next thing on the list is obviously Harv's Island, so let's go, shall we? Now, would you look at that? Cap'n was kind enough to drop us off straight to Harv's Island. Obviously, I'm kidding, <laughs> but wouldn't that be freaking awesome? Okay, let's grab this hairstyle. I'm still missing a few, I'm sure. So let's see what Harriet has for us today. To be honest, I kind of like my hairstyle, even though it is like the starter hairstyle. But I don't know, none other hairstyle has come close to this one. Oh no, dear, no. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no. oh no. Yes, please. <laughs> Speechless. Okay, well, that was something. Yeah, um. Speechless. Okay, moving on. This is not a cause for a celebration. No. <laughs> okay, let's see what Sahara has. No, I think I've checked these. Or have I? Maybe because of time traveling. Oh, they did change. Ooh. Okay, I'm definitely buying this one. This looks fun. Maybe for some supermarket build action. And that carpet over there in the corner. That is so cute. Get me all the walls and floors. Elegant brown rug. Maybe we'll get two of these, just in case. I gotta say, I love Harv's Island right now. It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing that they added to the game. Just makes me so happy. Oh my goodness, of course. Okay, Fortimer, we need your help. Yes, we would like to put items in storage real quick. Why do I always come to this island with my pockets full? That is all, thank you. Yes, I would like to get another rug, just in case. Who is your favorite seller at this plaza or whatever they call this? Marketplace? Okay, moving on to Leaf. The music here is so good, by the way. I don't know if you can hear it, probably not. <laughs> But the music is so relaxing. It's kind of like the beginning music in Animal Crossing. Okay. Nope. Nothing that I want. No carrots. I don't think I need those either. Let's see if Kix has something. Jet pack. <laughs> Jet pack. Why can I not pronounce anything? Okay, I'm totally cataloging this. I'm one of these people, like, I need to catalog everything just in case I might need it one day in the future. Gotta catalog it all. Okay, thank you, Kix. I think that is it. Back to Lumi Isle we go. Okay, so the next thing on the list is cooking recipe hunting. Hunting? <laughs> Why did my voice just break there? But um, it's quite early in the morning, like Gonzo was sleeping and stuff like that. So I'm actually not sure if we can find anyone inside their house at this hour. Maybe Alice? But yeah, I definitely try to get as many recipes as I can. What's up, Hornsby? Oh, okay, I got you. I can at least try. <laughs> I think that's the one that spawns on the tree stump. What do you call those? I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, let's check if Marshall's home. He's our only hope for a recipe, but obviously I will be stuck in this day for a little bit now, so I'm not too concerned. I have other days to hunt for a recipe as well. Okay, Marshall's at home. Marshall's home. At, uh, what? What? <laughs> Let's see if he's cooking. Oh, he's crafting. What are you up to, buddy? What are you crafting? Golden wall. I think I have it. Yeah. I mean, there is not a lot of the regular crafting recipes that I need still. Okay, so I don't think we have much luck right now with this because some of my villagers are still sleeping and I think everyone else was outside. But anyways, the recipe hunt is definitely on my everyday list. Okay, so the next thing on my to-do list is some nuke mile farming. What I like to do every day is to get at least 1000 nuke miles so I can cover the cost of capping island trip and as a little personal goal I like to try and at least finish these ones that give you like double or triple nook miles because that is just an easy way to get quite a lot of miles and usually these tasks are really really easy so you can complete them relatively quickly now let's move on to the things that I will do if I have a little bit more extra time one of them is hanging out with a villager, which I haven't actually done in a little while. Ozzy used to ask me to come hang out almost every day when the update like first launched or I don't know, was updated. <laughs> but I haven't seen the hangout bubble in a while, but that is definitely the cutest thing ever. And you can also get a KK song from the villager. I think the first time that you go over to their house, so I will definitely do that if I have time. Also lately, the villagers have just been barging into my house, which is like, oh my goodness, my house look like trash right now and I really want to redecorate the place but the villagers like come over all the time at the worst timing ever and I'm like no guys I'm not taking visitors right now but yeah since it's quite early in the morning I think all of my villagers are kind of sleepy or sleeping so I don't think we can hang out with the villager right now. Thing number 12 on my list is also to upgrade or do something in resident services if I need to. So for example, if I want to move a plot or a bridge or something, I would do that definitely. That's not like a daily thing, but in the beginning, for example, like I wanted to upgrade the storage quite a lot. So I just wanted to add that to the list and the next thing on the list is to do some island decorating. As you can see, my island has turned into a little treasure island here thanks to the Discord cataloging event that we had not too long ago. But as you can see, this area over here is kind of empty and I'm still thinking what to do with this one. Maybe a field, maybe a lake. I definitely need to decorate this area, but this is also not that much of a daily thing, although I do try to decorate a little bit every day or at least control my flowers or something. Oh my god, I see a fossil. <laughs> Let me grab this before I forget. So decorating my island is also on my little list, just if I have time or if I feel like it. The next thing on the list after decorating is of course the DLC, which I haven't actually played that much, but I'm definitely trying to get into it more because I see people like finishing the storyline and stuff. Yeah, what to do, <laughs> what to do, I kind of got a addicted to other games for a moment here, so whoopsie, but definitely trying to get into the DLC a bit more these days. The last thing on the list, and this is more in that I will do this every day category, is obviously taking a coffee break at the roost. This is a must, at least to go and check if there is any cute NPCs here. I haven't seen anyone, like I think this is the second or third time I come in here and no one is here. Should we invite someone with an amiibo card? Well, obviously I had to invite Marty here, not me arriving to the Sunrio party like eight months later. <laughs> 
Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me here for a little bit. Here is the whole list of the chores that I've done today in case you want to take a screenshot and maybe follow this list along on another day. Let me know if there is something that you want to add to this one or is there something that I maybe missed out on. Obviously, some days I do a bit more, some days I do a bit less, and I'm not sure if I missed out on something, so definitely let me know your daily routine in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this chill video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys!